Hey guys, how's it going? Craig Frost here with another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be answering another question that I've got on my YouTube channel. This one comes from, and I hope this say, I say this right, Johnny Tekel? Tessel? Tekel? Sorry if I butchered your name there. Um, he says, hey bro, great tutorial. Thanks, thanks bro. I was hoping you could maybe do a tutorial on mixing 23.97 frames per second footage with 60 frames per second footage. I am a little confused on the right workflow when mixing up footage frame rate in Premiere Pro. Thank you. Dot 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 dot. Um, so thanks for that, Johnny. Um, I'm hoping this one helps you out a little bit. So I've got some clips here in my project window that I'm going to drag onto the timeline. So I have a clip here of a sunset. Let's drag that in. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm going to do this really quickly. Um, I've got this car driving clip that we've seen in other videos. Let's just trim that down a little bit. Um, uh, what else have I got? I've got some waves. Let's put some waves in there. Um, oh, I've got this clip of a theatre that I want to put in there. But wait a second. This sequence is set up for these clips. The 29.97 frames per second. But this clip is 23.97 frames per second. Um... So the frame rate doesn't match. So what can I do there? Well, there's ways that you can convert the footage to the correct frame rate that you're working in. Um, you can also, let me just show you the media duration here, 21 seconds. You, you can also go to modify interpret footage and then tell Adobe Premiere what frame rate you want to work in. So I want this clip to be recognized as 29.976. But watch what happens to the media duration when I click OK. It actually shortens it to 16 seconds. So what it's effectively doing is um, speeding up the frames per second to match the frames per second that you put in. But instead of creating frames in between the frames you already have, it's just playing the frames you have faster. So you probably won't notice this as we watch the clip back um, that anything's wrong. But obviously if you're trying to sync up audio or you want something to look natural, Losing five seconds on a clip because it's sped up um, isn't really going to work for you. So let's put this back to how it was, 21 seconds. So what can I do to get it into this timeline? Um, I'm just going to drag it in. There we go. And that should be fine, to be honest. Um, so I'll play through. And then it goes onto this clip. And it, and it plays fine as well. Um, you might get some red some red there so you can just highlight the clip or just uh, the, the timeline and press the return key to start the rendering preview and it will render out fine and you can play it um, so that's basically how you can do it you can just in CS6 you can put you can mix frame rates and you should be fine and then just export to the frame rate you want of course it's probably better and people are going to get annoyed in the comments here that you should convert your footage but it works fine so why not use it um, I've not had a problem with it and I know the question asked for using 60 frames per second in a lower frame rate this will work exactly the same um, whichever way you go uh, okay so that's it basically you can mix frame rates on the timeline in premiere and you should be okay most of the time uh, so thanks for watching remember to like favorite comment subscribe whatever you want to do to the video um, don't put the thumbs down i know what you like don't do that um, follow on twitter twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts uh, hope you like this one and I'll see you next time. Well, I probably won't. Yeah, no, I won't be able to see you, but you'll be able to hear me. Uh, bye.